This morning, we are also following a severe weather threat for 16 million Americans living across the southeast. Meteorologist Gerard Bailey is here with a live look at what we can expect. Good morning, guys. Well, here we go. So we've been tracking this storm system. It is going to be a powerful one. It's beginning as a winter system. We're still seeing winter weather alerts across a lot of the northern plains, all the way from Wisconsin, all the way into Denver, Colorado. You're seeing some of that. But this is about to transition in a major way. So here's the system now emerging out of the north and west. Now that it's over, the central United States is getting ready to encounter some very warm air coming right off the Gulf of Mexico. It's chock full of moisture. That is going to be a fuel for some big thunderstorms later on today. Now we have the severe weather risk right here, and this is a level four out of five. So it is certainly elevated and much higher than you would normally see for this time of the year, but not unheard of either way. Memphis all the way down to Jackson, Shreveport, even into Birmingham, right there along the lower Mississippi River Valley. We're going to be seeing a lot of thunderstorm activity today, and it will likely become strong severe. Thunderstorms beginning as early as the morning hours, but likely becoming severe, especially as we move past noon and then into the evening hours is when we're really going to see things reaching their peak of intensity. And these storms are going to have the ability to rotate. The environment is very dynamic, full of energy, and then that system is going to head off to the south and east. So what is this going to mean? It's going to mean a high tornado threat today. The highest tornado threat right there towards central Mississippi. Significant tornadoes possible. Long track could be large and uh, on the ground for some time. And then we also have wind damage uh, possibility here. Just the regular thunderstorm wind gusts could exceed 80 miles per hour. The bad thing, of course, is this time of the year it gets dark very early. So it's tough to keep eyes on it. And then also at the same time, it's in a bit of a radar blind spot. So it's not going to be easy to spot today, adding to the danger. All right. We'll keep our eyes peeled when that data is available mm -hmm. then. All right. Thank you so much, Gerard. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.